Good afternoon, this is the latest video update on severe tropical storm Vicente south of Hong Kong. Today is the uh, 23rd of July. This is our latest afternoon update on the storm which is now moving very near Hong Kong, located approximately 200 kilometers south southeast of the city state. Maximum sustained winds are now at 100 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 130, according to JMA. Uh, JTWC has actually upgraded Vicente to a typhoon, um, but JMA, the official forecasting agency in the Western Pacific, maintains the severe tropical storm intensity of uh, Vicente. But again, as I said, the storm continues to intensify as it slowly moves north northwestward at 10 kilometers per hour, and this is key because um, this is creating a substantial shift in the forecast track, uh, which we will see later in the update. Uh, just a quick note and you can see here in this visible image the eye is actually starting to cl clear out and um, you can no notice the, the, the system is uh, becoming more symmetrical with uh, bands starting to form actually in the north northern periphery if you are um, reading our updates in the past in our website and our blog and we have been noting the lack of convection on the northern periphery but again we've uh, as we've expected, the wind shear have, has weakened and you can see the storm is now intensifying at a faster pace than the past few days. Current warnings out here in Hong Kong, we have strong wind signal number 3, expecting winds around 40 to 60 kilometers per hour. Uh, the Hong Kong Observatory is actually um, contemplating of re raising this si si uh, signal to possible storm signal number 8 later this afternoon, so continue checking HKO website for the latest uh, from them. Uh, China Meteorological Administration that shown here has actually raised yellow signal or yellow alert for the uh, typhoon Vicente which is uh, forecast to make landfall in Guangdong province uh, tomorrow afternoon. Looking at the system here in the infrared image you can see the eye again is starting to clear out. You can see that warm spot in the center of the storm south of Hong Kong. Much of the convection is still pretty ragged um, although, again, the s central dense over overcast is really intensified and it's really consolidated in the past 12 to 24 hours, again, prompting, actually prompting JTWC to upgrade this to a uh, typhoon as of their latest update. You can also see in this latest image some of the convection uh, starting to move in uh, across uh, the uh, southern part of China and uh, particularly here in Hong Kong. You can see here on this latest radar image from Hong Kong Observatory again those outer bands starting to affect Hong Kong and um, Macau and uh, nearby areas here in southern China. Light to moderate rains expected in the next uh, 12 hours as the storm continues to move to the northwest. In terms of uh, the rainfall amounts you probably see around 50 to even 100 millimeters in the next uh, tonight and into tomorrow. In terms of winds uh, Hong Kong Airport is already uh, report is already reporting winds of around uh, 45 kph with gusts of up to 65 kph. So near tropical storm strength being uh, already being observed in the Hong Kong area, and Vicente is still a couple of hundred kilometers south. Um, so again, the storm is expected to move much closer to Hong Kong tonight and into tomorrow, possibly again racing that uh, strong wind signal to number eight. Uh, ho uh, of course, that means the, the uh, forecast winds will increase as well in the metropolitan uh, area. The image right here is the microwave image taken roughly an hour ago, and you can see again those concentric bands uh, starting to wrap around the low-level circulation center. You can see here the eye wall is starting to form, and uh, you can see here pretty clearly how far the storm is, or how near actually the storm is now uh, towards Hong Kong. You also see those outer convective bands uh, affecting Hong Kong as I've shown in the radar image earlier. Now in terms of the forecast I've said we are seeing substantial shift you can see on the Hong Kong Observatory now forecasting uh, Vicente to make landfall uh, near Yangjiang in Guangdong province tomorrow afternoon. Remember if you are uh, reading our updates in the past few uh, few days we are expecting the system to actually make landfall here in the Lejiao Peninsula now we have shifted that forecast track to the um, to the east, not only from Hong Kong Observatory, but uh, also here from uh, JTWC, actually much nearer 
track to Hong Kong compared to HKO. So a pretty ominous looking forecast from JTWC. You can also see here the intensity forecast. They're expecting the system to actually intensify further to around 140 kilometers per hour tonight as it moves uh, around uh, 110 kilometers south e uh, southwest of Hong Kong. So uh, probably not typhoon force, but still very strong tropical storm force wind should be expected across Hong Kong, Macau, and again, as I said, Jiangjiang City here in Guangdong province. JMA, finally we have JMA's forecast track and showing general idea again the consensus has changed in the past 24 hours again shifting the track all the way to the east now and again much of the forecast agencies expecting the system to make landfall here in Yangjiang instead of here in Lezhou Peninsula and um, because of this we're now expecting Vicente, Vicente to um, weaken uh, much faster than before because it's now tracking more inland instead of crossing into the Gulf of Tonkin in terms of uh, medium range track, going back to JTWC's forecast track here, you can see the system is still expected to move into Vietnam by as early as Wednesday afternoon, but you can see they are only expecting this to become a tropical depression because as it moves in the rugged terrain of Guangdong province, it will rapidly weaken, losing the typhoon intensity and eventually becoming a tropical depression and eventually dissipating uh, as early as uh, Thursday over northwestern part of Vietnam still going to be expecting lots of heavy rain across Hong Kong, Macau, Guangdong and even northern Vietnam by the latter part of the week so again please uh, observing caution especially across here in Hong Kong as the storm is forecast to make uh, its closest pass tonight and into tomorrow and also for those of you watching from uh, northern Vietnam and even actually here in uh, along the southern part of China before we end our video update, we have we're going to talk about qu quickly here. Invest 93W is formed east of uh, Mindanao. Probably are actually the low-level circulation center is situated just southeast of Palau. We can see here the um, system is still on its early stages of development. Um, the low-level circulation center is somewhat elongated, and as you can see, convection is still disorganized and still pretty weak in, in this latest visible uh, visible image. However, the um, atmosphere conditions are actually favorable. We have a uh, weak wind shear of 10 knots. Um, sea surface temperatures is always very warm. You get moist uh, atmospheric conditions. So um, expect uh, JTW is actually rating the system low chance in terms of cyclone development. Expect this to become a s the next cyclone in the next few days. Computer models are still uh, picking up the system and uh, much of the um, uh, computer models actually agree on, on a tropical storm forming out of this so you have high confidence of a of a weak system forming in the next few days so think you're watching it uh, this area for possible development now in terms of forecast track uh, the consensus is taking 93 W on a, a north northwestward track uh, tracking parallel the w uh, eastern coast of the Philippines you can see many of the models are uh, forecasting, not forecasting a landfall, so uh, not uh, a forecast to to make a direct impact. However, as we have seen in uh, with Vicente, uh, we can it can still enhance the southwest monsoon. So still be prepared for another round of uh, widespread heavy rains across the Philippines uh, later this week and into the um, uh, weekend. And talking about the southwest monsoon, you can see here in the latest visible image here, focusing on the Philippines just for a second, you can see the um, convection. I mean, I'm sorry, the um, coverage of the widespread rains have actually lessened uh, in the past 12 hours. You can see much of the rains are now concentrated across the uh, western part of Luzon, particularly here in central Luzon, along the provinces of Zambales, Pangasinan, and Bataan. Actually, areas such as Clark, Subic, and Iba Zambales have all recorded rainfall amounts of more than 100 millimeters in the past 24 hours Clark actually reporting 230 millimeters per hour areas such as uh, Manila uh, Cabanatuan in Nueva Ecija reporting around 50 millimeters per hour still expect scattered uh, rain showers uh, for um, much of Luzon but still um, thankfully it's not it's not going to be as heavy and not as widespread as in the past uh, as the past few days uh, Visayas and Palawan uh, now have 
lesser chance of uh, rains as the southwest monsoon shifts to the uh, to the west. Uh, again, as I've said, as for Mindanao, the the main thing to watch now is Invest 93W. Is it could develop into a cyclone. You can see again the rain clouds actually here inching closer to Mindanao, but as of right now, um, only uh, scattered and isolated thunderstorms to worry about in this area. And that concludes our update for today. You can continue checking out this official uh, forecasting agencies, your respective uh, weather bureaus, for the latest official warnings and updates for your area. Stay safe out there. Bye, guys.